and welcome to my channel. Alright, so as the title obviously says, I finished a sketchbook. And to be completely honest, this is my first sketchbook that I've ever completed. Um, I've already started my second sketchbook, and I think at the end of this I will do a sneak peek into my new sketchbook. But, um, okay, so I was watching channels such as, um, Oliver's Antics, and, um, a couple of other art channels that I follow, and they do sketchbooks, and I realized that was probably a really, really good idea, especially for an artist, and also, I don't know, I've never done a sketchbook before, so I decided I was going to try it, new form of art, hooray, gotta make sure that all the info is covered, okay. Alright, so we ignore these first couple of pages because um, I didn't like them and this was before I decided I was going to make a sketchbook, so I have them paper clipped together. I don't want to go into them. I have a Trident uh, Chibi. I tried to draw a Chibi here, but like, I'm not very good at drawing Chibis, so it's kind of just there. Uh, anyway, so this is where the sketchbook really begins. Here we have, uh, I started it May 6th, and I finished it July 10th, um, so that was a couple of days ago. And so just like how, I based this very, very specifically on how Oliver does his sketchbooks, so his, I think, I think he's a he. Anyway, so, uh, he does like goals in the front of his sketchbook, so I decided that I wanted to do goals. I have a very, very general goal set because I wanted to mostly just figure out how a sketchbook works. Um, colors, I actually did use colors on almost every page. Um, I drew lots of my own OCs because I felt like I needed to just draw more of my characters. Uh, backgrounds, but I did barely any of that. I did it like three times, and I failed twice, so. Line art, uh, I don't know if I actually tried to learn anything in that direction, but, and then figure out how a sketchbook works, and I think I figured it out, though it's pretty rough here in the beginning. This is my first page, kind of just my, hello, welcome to the sketchbook, sketchbook one. Yes. He is not uh, an OC, he's just a random character I created for the purpose of being on the front page of the sketchbook and actually drew him again on the last page and I guess you can see then how my art style has changed. I think he's an architect or like he works with machines and stuff and I actually really like him. He's a species called a Scaleon, uh, which is a species I created. Uh, they're like mostly human but partly dragon. There's a lot of Scaleons. I love dragon Scaleons. This was my uh, thumbnailing for him because I was like, I should probably try thumbnailing. And I tried it, and I don't actually really like thumbnailing. I kind of hate it. Um, so I don't do it like ever. Um, this, I was trying to figure out some legs. I was just mostly trying to figure out how to make a sketchbook look nice. So far, this is an absolute mess. It looks nasty. Um, and then I decided to do a spread of my character, Cloud. Um, he is from the story, my story called The Adventurers. He is a sad boy. He is a sprite, and sprites can choose a element that they can kind of become a part of. And they can live forever-ish? Not exactly forever, for, but for a really, really, really long time. They have to be like, they can't die of natural causes. They have to be killed, or they have to kill themselves. So... Actually, in my story, he does try to kill himself, but Anisha Flight, managed, the main character, managed to step in and save him. He's in a coma right now in my story. And then I decided to do a spread of profiles. Um, I make little comments all the way through the sketchbook sometimes, such as, Liggies are hard. Um, <laughs> and honestly, I'm actually really proud of this spread. I really like pretty much all of these except for this one because I was rushed and I wanted to be done. I really like this one. This one's really cool. I hate this page so much. It's probably the worst page in the entire book. Um, I was trying to draw my main man, Lawrence, but I couldn't. And so I failed on his body, so then I tried again by taping something over it. 
And I failed again, so I gave up on this page. And there's me being very, very angry about how I can't draw. <laughs> I could not draw that day. Um, this is for a friend of mine. Someone asked for a certain character to be drawn threatening a dragon with flowers, so that is what I did. And I tried a little bit of landscape, but I don't think I did it clear enough. I didn't put enough color. I don't know. It just doesn't look like it's there, you know? I'm so proud of this. They're all- these, these characters, this is actually a scene from The Adventurers, which is a story that's like 13 notebooks long. It's mostly just an amalgamation of original story, original worlds, original species, and fan fictions. It's a mess. I'm never gonna publish it. I do have a story I want to publish that I'm working on, but this is not it. Um, there's Cloud again. This was a scene that I was writing at the time, and that is Anisha Flight, the main character. She's short bean. She actually kind of represents me in the story, which is actually why I go by the name Flight in a lot of, like, drawing or writing. I also go by the name of Clicker because that was my first OC. Um, I drew her, her later. This is... Sorry. This is my best friend's character, Jaren. Um, she basically made him and then gave him to me for me to use. Uh, let's see. Jaren Witter. He's a demon, I think. This is Reen Matsu. This is Kiara Snow. She represents my best friend. Uh, these two are dating. It's very, very cute. She's drooling because she's excited for coffee. And this is Crimson. She is gorgeous. I love her. I actually drew her today. And she's just so pretty. <laughs> um, I hate the proportions on this side of the page. I uh, try not to think about it. Um, all of these people are trying to get coffee, except for Flight. She does not drink coffee, so she's waiting because they're buying her pie. Because I wanted pie that day. Um, I casually created a murderer for uh, my characters to deal with. Uh, I did a background on this one, I guess. This was kind of a general idea. I wanted, I have a story. I just needed a character to be the bad guy. So I needed to draw him out, and I did. Uh, he was an adventurer who turned his back on the world and started just kind of killing left and right. He was scary. I think he's a demon of some sort, or a demonic one. I'm not, I don't have a name for his species yet. I'm actually still really proud of this picture. It still looks good. Uh, I did kind of just a thing of Anisha Flight. I like drawing her. Um, she's just so much fun. She's just so cute. Look at her. She's just so proud of herself at all times. And I need that in my life. So, yeah, she's a Scalion. Um, she loves flying and she's mantic because, you know. Um, this was for a TikTok I did, uh, but I also drew her uh, in my new sketchbook. She's the first page. Um, because I decided I didn't want an OC on my front page. I wanted a random character that I just randomly created. So she looks like a, a frost sprite. So, she's pretty cute. All the sprites I've created so far are blue. What the heck? This is for another TikTok. It almost... It's mostly kind of like a girl kind of getting over her, um... What do you call that? She has these giant scars, and she's getting over the fact that she has them, and she cuts her bangs, and she says she's doing a lot better, and she's just doing better. She's, she believes in herself now, and I don't know. It's just kind of cute. Uh, this is one of my characters from the story I want to publish. It's called The Balance Keeper. Uh, he's not, in fact, a merman. I just wanted to draw him as a merman. I think it was May, so I was like, Mermaid! I might as well draw at least one merman. I drew a couple. Uh, but I did not jump on in on that. Uh, it's been a while since I've drawn animals, and you can tell by their leggies. I don't know why, but no matter what creature it is, legs are so hard. Uh, this is from, let's see, there's this YouTuber called Afmau, and she creates these stories in, like, Minecraft, and I was super into it when I was younger. And so I did a throwback to it, you know, just like a throwback to the main character. This is the main character, Afmau. And I did kind of a throwback to my younger days. It's still a good story. Its presentation is a little rough, which I'm okay with. I'll look past the presentation. The story was so much fun. I actually have been re-watching it. It's kind of cringy, but at the same time, it's so nostalgic. And I love it still. It's a good story. 
Um, I did another try at the euphoric-legged demon creature. Okay, so this is Connie. I actually tried to draw Connie here too. He's Anisha's good boy Drake. He's a Drake, um, which is like a draconic being mixed with an animal. He's a sweetheart. I love him. She rescued him as a puppy or a cub or a whatever you call him. And it's just so cute. Look at him. Look at him. He's so cute. Sorry. All right. I did Lord's game because I was like, I need to get past that stupid page. So I think I was doing references because I wanted someone to draw him. So I needed a bunch of good references for him. I don't really like this. He doesn't look alive enough. I think I rushed it too much, but this is for a TikTok creator who, a uh, D&D dude who did, has this like species of mice people. They're called the Omeg. And they're just so cool. I just wanted to do a whole spread of just the Omeg. Um, also, I had to tape these pages in because at the front of the sketchbook, I ripped out a couple pages. So then some of the later ones that were like the other half of those pages, you know, um, were trying to fall out and die. Um, this one, ignore the diamond. My brother points that out every single time he sees it. It's stupid. Um, but because uh, I messed up the eye really bad. So I just cut it a, a like a, I think I had an index card next to me, and that's what I used, so uh, don't mind that. This was kind of just a study. Um, this TikToker was uh, doing a whole bunch of different clothes, doing one of those what I would wear in these situations, kind of challenges, things, whatever. And I decided to do kind of almost a clothes study with this. I don't know, I just wanted to draw things. This, and as I went on, you can kind of tell I stopped caring. Um, I hate this one so much. Its proportions are so off. Anyway, but we're gonna ignore that and go to this one. I decided to try a little bit of a different style with just pen, and I kind of, I still like it. I still like it. And then I did a whole bunch of, um, just kind of little, I was trying to chibi again. I have a hard time doing chibis for some reason. So I was trying to do chibis again. This is Anisha Flight, Lawrence Val, oh no, Lawrence Velen, sorry. I forgot I changed his last name. Uh, Rin Matsu and Kiera Snow. These four are actually the the adventurers in the story of the adventurers. Uh, this is, the rest of these guys are from uh, the Balance Keeper. This is Steve Nameless. Uh, his hair is not right, and he doesn't exactly, he doesn't look like Steve. Don't worry, you'll see more of him. I'll, I'll show you. Uh, Ander Edge, Ada Pillage, and Dante Flame Eater, who deserves all the loves in the world. I don't want to talk about it, though, because in the story I've been putting on Wattpad as, like, like, the first draft is going on Wattpad. I'll eventually, like, probably take it down and edit it a lot and send it in. I hope to get it published someday. But... So, I don't want to talk about them too much, because I'm afraid that um, they will end up getting whatever. Uh, I don't want to spoil things. Plus, I don't want to talk about Dante too much, even though I really want to, because I have a friend who's going to watch this video, and they're reading it right now. Actually, I have two friends. They're watching, going, probably going to watch this video. They are reading the story, and I don't want to tell them about Dante yet, but as soon as they find out, I can finally start making all those jokes <laughs> that I've been storing. I decided to do something angsty. So we got uh, Lawrence and Anisha. Um, they are dating. They're so cute. I love them. <gasps> so adorable. They are eventually going to get married. Um, and once they're married, then I'm going to write like a healthy relationship, because I feel like those aren't written enough. Uh, I, this is a thing for my best friend because this is the character that represents her. So I was telling her I love her. I think she was going through something rough. I don't remember why. I just wanted to tell her I love her. My, uh, I was watching my dad. I was hanging out with my dad and watching him play a ninja video game. So I drew Anisha as a ninja. And this had a throwback to this YouTuber that my dad used to show me when I was a little kid. And it had a song. It was so funny. Um, it was like, anyway, but here's some words from that, and then I'm a, I'm a midget ninja. Because <laughs> Anisha is super short. She's like 5'1", and it's, it's funny. She's super short. Uh, here's more 
mer people because it was mermaid, so you know. Uh, this is Lawrence Velen if he was like a merman, only like the size of an orca whale. He's an orca, by the way, that's why I drew that. I think that was one of my first YouTube videos. Actually, probably my first one. That was before I figured out my string setup. Uh, I wanted to do some fan art. I don't do nearly enough fan art. But this is Jack Frost and Naruto. They're hanging out. It's all Gucci. Um, they're going to cause some serious mischief. Everyone run. I was practicing some shots. I was just doing an art trade with um, Drew. I don't remember their full name on Tumblr. They have the cutest art. They have an OC that they ship with Neville from Harry Potter. It's so cute and their art style is adorable. They drew Lawrence for me and I was so happy. Here's Steve Nameless and he actually looks like Steve. Look at him. He's the main character in The Balance Keeper, um, which is probably, I'm probably gonna change that title. This is Blooper Man. I wonder if he's gonna watch this video too. He's, I know him on TikTok and Instagram. Got there eventually. And at one point he was like, hey, can anyone draw me as a warlock? I just, I just wanna, I just wanna, you know, if you have some time. So I drew him as a warlock because I loved the idea. And that's what this is. I'm very proud of it. His hair is so much fun to draw. Um, I drew, let's see, Steve, Ander, and Rill hanging out. Uh, not the greatest picture, but it's still cute. And they're adorable. Oh, I forgot about this belt. Should I give that to him in the future? I like it. Mm. Uh, so, Rill and Ander are like best friends and they have the cutest friendship. They are adorable. Oh my gosh. And Steve is like, yeah, I am here. Let's get into trouble. And then I was struggling with faces because I was dealing with that same face syndrome that everyone deals with at some point. So I did a couple face shapes. Actually, over the course of this sketchbook, I became very, very much better with face shapes. Like, I'm decent now. And then I figured out what Steve looked like, and I nailed his face down, and I'm so proud of this picture. I'm still so proud of it. Look at Gilbert. This is his, this is Steve's baby dragon. He's just such a mess. I need to practice drawing him more because I want to draw Gilbert more because he's such a, he's such a little putz. And then I was, wanted to draw a landscape from uh, my story, but I couldn't, I don't have the patience to draw landscapes as you can see, this is disgusting. I don't have the patience and so I give up very quickly. Um, so this was another try. I like this one better. Uh, this is actually a place in my story too. Uh, it's an abandoned house that is abandoned for reasons I can't tell you because that's spoilers. Um, oh, another merman. It's Rin Matsu uh, because I felt like it because he is a merman. Actually, I think he can in the adventurers actually turn into a merman whenever he wants because he'd be like that. Um, I remember sketching out the base for this and I was like, oh, this is a power pose. So I was so excited to draw him. And I finally nailed down what abs look like, I think, in this one. I actually looked up references this time. Um, there's Connie. And this is kind of Kiara Snow. I don't know. I was just like, I didn't. No, I wanted to draw on the next page, I think. So I was just, this was like a throwaway picture. And I didn't even draw on this page. What the heck? That's me for you. So I just did sketches of Rill. I was nailing down Rill so that I could draw her here. Aww. Maybe I wanted to do a spread. Maybe that's why that was a throwaway picture. Um, that's her silver axe. Um, she's dead. She's very dangerous. She is a um, species that has like see-through skin so and organs so you can see like just her bones. It's really, really awesome. She's so fun to draw. This was a kind of almost a, like one of those diagrams, one of those like medieval diagrams you'd see of like how people believed of the world and stuff. I decided I wanted to try drawing one of those. These are the worlds of my um, story. And then I drew a symbol that I want to use in my story. This is the symbol for the balance. So you've got Tali, the Finn, and then the three balance worlds that keep everything from falling apart. Um, 
this is someone else's character. His name is Alan. Um, he's a character that they play in, in their Din Dungeons & Dragons game. Uh, there's Lawrence, my boy, my main man, my husband, seeing as Anisha is basically me. Um, here is uh, Ander, because he is the handsome boy, so I tended to sketch him a lot. Um, here, I was, I was playing a Dungeons and Dragons game with a group of online friends, and this is my character, Clicker. She was actually the first OC I ever made, but I revamped her and reused her as a Dungeons and Dragons character. She was like a fey warlock. It was really funny because we were fighting cake um, and radioactive cupcakes. <laughs> she was mad because she couldn't eat them. This was her best. This is her best friend, one who is a dwarf. Um, Leon, a pirate captain who got ensnared by, me by music coming from a uh, beer holder, which is a play on words from a bee holder. It was quite the game. Uh, Wilhelm showed up late. He's like almost like Clicker's older brother, but like they're not actually related. And he slipped in some frosting and fell as he was telling her not to run away from him again. And this is May, who is the barkeep, and she was just absolutely mad. She was like, do not let us die of cupcakes. I will, we will never live it down if we die. And this is Xander, he was the vampire who owned the establishment where we were fighting the cupcakes. And he was just so mad, he was gonna beat that, that beer holder with a stein. He was gonna do it. Uh, I was watching this one, I was watching, uh, Oh, what's it called? Mm, uh, mm, it's, um, uh, uh, <laughs> sorry. Full Metal Alchemist, and it's that point, part, that, num, 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 that part where they're all in the, in the, in the, like, hunger stomach, in gluttony stomach, you know, thing, you know, the, the, <laughs> the world that wasn't, like, the real thing, you know what I mean? Where there was blood everywhere? Yeah, that, I was watching that, and I just drew a cat, and then I drew blood, so, because I felt like it, so, whatever. I was gonna do another spread of, you know, bodies and stuff, but I got lazy after two, and I was like, no, nah, I don't wanna. And then I drew a whole page of Steve, and I love him. I'm so proud of this one, and have yet to be able to do it again. I would love to be able to do it again. Look how surprised he is. Oh, he's such a cute boy. He is a handsome man. Uh, this was a draw this in your own style challenge. He looks, this looks like Pidge, but like with black hair and fancy ears. Uh, actually, I posted it when it was just the, uh, it was like just pencil and the color. And then afterwards I was like, let's see if I can make this better. So I pulled out a pen and I outlined it in pen. And then I took out markers and then I took paint because um, I didn't have gel pens at that point and did that and honestly this is so much cooler I wish I could have posted this instead uh, and then this was another of my another video I still Doroki I really need to draw more fan art except for I realized halfway through that I was drawing him looking a lot older than he actually is so I was like oh whoops because I like drawing I like drawing older people I don't know why Oh, it's a baby! I say that and turn the page to a child centaur. Look how cute he is. He's nervous. He looks like a messenger centaur. I should draw him again. He's super cute. Um, I just wanted to draw uh, Nisha, but uh, the pencil is super light and I was dumb and just didn't draw over it in like a darker pencil or something and decided to write something, uh, I don't know, cliche on top of it. Whatever. So I'm writing it. This is from a short story I'm actually writing. I'm almost done writing it. It was supposed to be a short story, but then it took up half a notebook, you know, as you do. Uh, he's super cool. I might publish the short story on my Wattpad account. By the way, all my social media will be in the description down below, so have that. Um, these are Animal Crossing characters my best friend sent me, and she asked me to draw them, and I was like, okay. So I did. I was using like my Crayola markers. I have such cheap drawing supplies. Like everything is so cheap. Like pretty much all my color pencils are Crayola and 
the markers I used here were Crayola, and it's just, it's just, I don't have anything cool. I don't have, I'm hoping though, my birthday is coming up. I'm hoping I get cool things. I'm, I asked for alcohol-based markers. I don't know if I'll get them, but I really want them. So I don't know if I will, but maybe. I really hope. I really hope. Um, trying to treat chibis again. I think I was practicing because I was trying to make a birthday card for my mom. Here is a... Uh, th this was based off of this because I thought it was kind of creepy actually. So I decided I wanted to do something kind of creepier. But I didn't put that much effort into it, so... Oh, uh, no, no, no. I hate this page. Sorry. It was Memorial Day. And I wanted to have Anisha standing at a grave because of plot things and a story that happens and standing at some graves because we visited graveyards that day but I wanted to watercolor it and I just don't know how to make it look good so I hate this picture and I tried again on this page to make it look a little better and it was and then I messed it up because I was like let's just color the sky and then I messed it up you know as you do maybe if I outline it in pen it would be better I'm lazy Tried to do a chibi based on how Rain Spirit art does. Uh, I did, it did not turn out very well. I did not like it. This was supposed to be Lawrence. And one day I'll figure out chibis. But that that day was not that day. Although I do like this flower. Um, finally, some chibis. That, this chibi I like. And then this is like somewhere between chibi and like not chibi. And I like it. This was my... Uh, I was trying to figure out... Oh, look at that! so cute oh my gosh what the heck um no this was where i was thumbnailing trying to figure out how to draw that card for my mom uh here is steve and alex some woo woo stuff for my story uh -huh. i tried to draw a forest i'm struggling here is lawrence with his when uh, anisha first met him uh, a couple of other days and then I wanted to kind of do a little bit of scars on his back but I didn't want to outline it because I don't know I didn't feel like it. Oh uh, I was watching I was watching Voltron and there was this baby and it was like with Lotor and how his parents kind of just ignored him you know and then I was just like oh so I drew a baby because I felt so bad um uh, there's real again. She's just so much fun to draw. She's like a child, but also she looks so cool. Uh, this is my halfway page mark thing. Oh my gosh, I need to move faster. There's so many pages in the sketchbook. Oh my gosh, this video's gonna take forever to upload. Okay, sorry. Um, but I drew Lawrence and Anisha. I said my halfway pages are going to be kind of like uh, my OCs. I don't know. It'll probably mostly be Lawrence and Anisha because they be like that sometimes. Uh, Lawrence is my very scarred boy. Look how scarred he is. And they got swords because, you know, swords are cool. I like Anisha's colors. They're so cool. She, uh, yes. Okay, uh, pardon the super rough transition. This video is too long to be one whole video. So please check out my um, part two which should be up pretty much almost instantly. I want to get this whole thing out. You can watch, or you could just watch this first one and then like, you know, take a break, maybe come back a couple days later, watch the second part, or you can just try and go at it all in one go. Thank you for your understanding. <laughs> uh, check out my social media too, if you would, that I put in the uh, uh, description. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.